blue butterfly. The Carner blue butterfly is an endangered species that only lives in oak savannas and dry prairies. The first Carner blue was identified in the late 1800s and was found near the city of Carner, New York. Therefore, the original name came from the location it was found. In recent years, the Carner range has been extremely dwindled, and now the butterfly is most widespread in Wisconsin and can be found in portions of Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, New York, New Hampshire, and Ohio. So what is a Carner? A Carner blue butterfly is a small butterfly with a wingspan about an inch, or about the size of a postage stamp. The Carner can be identified by their small band of orange crescents that line the undersigned edges of both the front and hind wings. It is the only blue butterfly that has this type of markings and sets it apart from all other species within the blue family. The sex of the Carner is also identified by specific markings. The male is a silvery blue and has a black narrow linear strip that runs along the edge of the wings with a white fringe while the female has a top side that is similar to the male but on the hind wing has a orange crescent. The Carner blue butterfly usually has two generations within each year. In April, the first group of caterpillars hatch from the eggs that were laid the previous year. The caterpillars feed only on wild lupin leaves. By about mid-May, the caterpillars pulpate and the adult butterflies emerge from their cocoon. These adults mate and lay their eggs in June on or near wild lupin plants. The eggs from this patch then hatch in about one week and the caterpillars feed for about three more weeks. The second batch then pulpates and the summer's second generation of adult blue butterflies appears in July. These adults mate and lay their eggs but these eggs will not hatch until the following spring. Carner blue butterflies require wild lupin as a host plant for their larva, and if the lupine is not present, the carner blue butterfly will cease to exist. Wild lupine is a perennial plant with beautiful pink to purplish blue flowers. It prefers dry, sandy soils found in natural communities such as oak savannas and pine barrens. The Carner blue butterfly is an extremely important species because it's considered an indicator species, and it is extremely specialized. The presence or absence of a Carner can give us insight to the health of the landscape, a landscape that is essential to the water cycle for human development. The Carner blue butterfly was federally listed in 1992. They became federally listed due to habitat fragmentation and reduction in wild lupine numbers. When a species is federally listed, the presence of that species typically causes the land to become severely limited. This occurs in areas that are shown to have the highest probability of having the habitat necessary for the endangered species. When this occurred, it brought our industry within the state to its knees. This is because Wisconsin holds the highest population of the Carner blue butterfly. And even though it's technically not endangered within the state, this type of circumstance was uncharted territory and made it extremely challenging for any entities within the state to do any type of work. In other words, this meant that for work for a variety of public and private entities ranging from the DNR to private forest industry came to a complete stop within the state. Because of this, it was made clear that Wisconsin needed some sort of solution to address the needs of the endangered Carner blue butterfly while still accomplishing the needs of the entities involved. The solution to this problem came when the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service approached the DNR with the idea of developing a statewide conservation plan specifically for the Carner blue butterfly. This conservation plan would eventually be labeled as a habitat conservation plan and cover the entire state. A habitat conservation plan is a provision under the Endangered Species Act that allows for a minimum amount to take to occur as long as it does not jeopardize the recovery for that species. What is take? Take is defined as activities that may cause harm to an endangered or threatened species or threaten a natural life cycle of any such species. This plan allows activities that would be typically hindered 
such as activities within the high potential range of the Carnal Blue, to occur under the DNR and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Supervision. The entire process of developing the ACP plan in Wisconsin took about six years and was completed in 1999. That year, the first HCP was issued and accepted as the model for a conservation plan across the state. In Wisconsin, the HCP plan includes provisions that require monitoring to take place in a specific location every five years. The monitoring takes place during the Carner's ideal flight time on sites that have the highest potential to support Carner's. If a Carner is found, then work on the site will be limited to reduce impacts to the Carner. This type of compromise allows the entire range of partners to implement management plans that correlate with their needs while still addressing the needs of Carner. The Wisconsin Habitat Conservation Plan is unique because it is the first habitat conservation plan to cover an entire state. This means it covers activities from multiple companies, agencies, and private landowners in an entire range of landscapes within Wisconsin. The Habitat Conservation Plan ensures that the Carner Blue presence on the landscape will continue long after we are here and that the population continues to stay strong within the state. In the end, the key to this success in Wisconsin has been the trust that the DNR has developed with the partners involved while still maintaining the needs of the Carner Blue butterfly. Even though this plan has been extremely successful, with current population numbers ranging anywhere from 30,000 to 40,000, each and every person has the opportunity to contribute to the prevention of the extinction of the Carner Blue. And this can be accomplished by 1. Learning about the species 2. Reporting presence or absence of Carner on Wisconsin's DNR website 3. Join a conservation group or volunteering to help with the conservation. 4. Develop or plant a garden with wild lupine and other nectar plants that help attract Carner Blue butterflies. Now I've been happy lately thinking about the good things to come and i believe it could be something good has begun oh i've 